So for today's video, we will hear from Professor Charlie. And Professor Charlie will be using an app that we could use for remote learning. It is called Doodly. Now watch this, be entertained, and learn something. Hello, I'm Charlie Cruz, an academic professional lecturer at the University of Wyoming. I teach medical laboratory sciences. Our program is delivered hybrid with courses requiring on-campus lab sessions. We use Canvas as a learning management system or LMS. Likewise, I have a great deal of experience with Moodle. With this ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we as teachers are adversely affected. Due to the unavailability of a vaccine as of the moment, face-to-face -face instruction tends to be impossible. But we, Filipino teachers, are resilient, creative, innovative, and resourceful. Today, I enjoin you as I share the mixed pedagogies that I adopt in teaching tertiary students. I anticipate that you can pick one or two of these strategies and implement them in your blended remote learning. Here are the 10 remote learning tricks that can spice up your distance teaching. First, LMS is it. Second, let zoom in. Third, Diversify homework or assignments. Go with online assessments. Printed modules and worksheets are never outdated. Mail in completed modules or worksheets and more. Grade completed assignments with feedback. Facebook group is free. EMT saves and Doodly is waving. Our first trick is LMS is it. Are you familiar with Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard, Google Classroom, Edmundo, and others? These are learning management systems. If your school has one, maximize its use. LMS is a virtual classroom where you can have the following features assignment, chat, choice, database, feedback, forum, glossary, lesson, quiz, survey, wiki, workshop, book, file, folder, label, page, and URL. There are also gradebook, embedded tools, plagiarism checker, email, etc. Here is an example of my Moodle classroom. We switch gears to the second trick. Let's zoom in. Zoom is a software that allows you to meet with your students virtually. To join the meeting, your students can use their desktop or laptop computers, smartphones, and tablets wherever they are. The free Zoom meeting lasts for an hour. Voice over PowerPoint presentations, podcasts, video demonstrations, and Kahoot can enhance the delivery of your lessons. An electronic quiz, Kahoot, is fun and interactive. Your students can use their smartphones to participate. On to our third trick. Diversify homework and assignments. Ask your students to prepare audio or video presentations, PowerPoint slides, participate in discussion forums, read their textbooks by chapter, 
answer problem-based learning activities, work on group projects, do non-graded exercises, complete repetitive self-assessments, and answer unlimited questions in your test bank. Trick number four, go with online assessments. Blend in multiple choice questions, essays, case studies, and other types for a single test or exam. Set due dates. A two-hour online exam is conducive. If you don't have an LMS at school, you may ask your students to email it to you or send it via messenger. Moving on to our fifth trick. Printed modules and worksheets are never outdated. Due to the scarcity of technological resources in the Philippines, the best way to address this challenge is the distribution of printed learning materials. Trick number six. Mail in completed modules or worksheets and more. Allow students to choose how they will turn in their completed assignments, either through regular mail with the post office or email it as an attachment or assign a drop-off center on the campus. If you prefer the email mode of submission, codify the subject and file name of the assignment. Example of email subject, Bio 101, Assignment 1. The file name can be Cruise underscore Bio 101 underscore Assignment 1. In this manner, you can organize and easily classify the tons of emails you receive from your students. Our seventh trick. Grade completed assignments with feedback. This is one of the most neglected processes in the academy. Armed with a rubric, you can evaluate the assignments of your students objectively. Point out the strengths and weaknesses of the students. Redirect students based on their potentials and evaluations. Our trick number eight. Facebook group is free. A study found out that teachers and students who use Facebook as a learning platform improved their communication skills. Why look for an expensive and paid app? Facebook is one of the most accessible social media platforms. I bet almost all of your students have an account. If you want your students to be more engaged with your class, create a Facebook group. One caution, make sure to set it to private mode. Number 9 trick. EMT saves. E for email, M for messenger, and T for texting. Filipinos are trending worldwide for being one of the most techy netizens. I agree. Use EMT to communicate with your students. Finally, we come to our last trick. Doodly is waving. Doodly is one of the software in making explainer videos. The drawback is it is a paid app, though it allows you to create limited free presentations. For more creative software, please visit this link. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward that you will apply some of the simple tricks of remote teaching that I shared today. To sum up, LMS is it, let zoom in, diversify homework or assignments, go with online assessments, printed modules and worksheets are never outdated, mail in completed modules or worksheets and more. 
grade completed assignments with feedback. Facebook group is free. EMT saves and Judley is waving. Have a fantastic day, fellow educators. Thank you for those valuable suggestions. And Ken, watch for the next episodes. We'll have more best practices. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.